midnight on the East Coast. You're looking live at the Capitol. Our breaking news tonight, the government of the United States of America has shut down. It hasn't happened for 17 years, but now it has. we will see the effects almost immediately. Some of the most iconic places in America locked up. The Washington Monument, the heart of the Capitol, closed. The Statue of Liberty, to billions around the world, the very epitome of freedom and democracy, shut down across the country. Monuments like the St. Louis Gateway Arch closed. But what matters more, some 800,000 people who work for the government will be furloughed in the next few hours. Listen to a clearly exasperated President Obama a little earlier this evening. A shutdown will have a very real economic impact on real people right away. So now it's happened, what are the numbers? Well, the shutdown could cost the U.S. economy roughly a billion dollars a week in lost pay for federal workers. The total impact could be ten times greater. There are estimates of three or four weeks shutdown could cost the economy up to $55 billion. If anyone can make sense of this, we'll put it down. Well, I'm hoping that you can make sense of this because to me, uh, a British guy over here is a great guest of your great country. I find this utterly baffling. I can't imagine it'll last very long. I think it, it could last a few hours, could last a few days. The last time it happened, uh, it, back in early 1996, December 95, January 96, it lasted for about 20 days. In no the previous November, it lasted for five days. So it could last a few days, but eventually cooler heads will prevail. They'll come up with some sort of way to get, to get the government funded because it, the, the consequences are enormous. And as bad as the consequences peers are right now, and they're going to be pretty bad, especially if this stays shut for the next several days or, or even weeks. Uh, October 17th, the U.S. government has to raise the debt ceiling, otherwise it can't pay its bills. And the ramifications, the economic ramifications for millions and millions of Americans and people all over the world, because the dollar is so important, would even be more serious. So there's an enormous amount at stake right now, and cooler heads are going to have to prevail. They're going to have to get their act together. Wolf, I mean, does Congress realize just how ridiculous it appears to the rest of the world? It depends on, you know, who you're talking to. They all, nobody wants a government shutdown. The Democrats don't want it. The Republicans don't want it. But they're fighting right now over what so many Republicans believe is an abomination. Uh, the the health care reform law that uh, the president signed into law was passed by the House, passed by the Senate, approved as constitutional by the United States Supreme Court. It's now the law of the land. In fact, today, October 1st, People can start signing up to get insurance. People who didn't have insurance, people who had pre-existing conditions. So, uh, but, but for a lot of these Republicans, they hate it. And they're willing to see the government shut down unless there can be some substantive changes. And the Democrats say, the president say, say no way, there aren't going to be any changes uh, with, with, with them pointing to this government shutdown as a threat. So it's going to continue a little bit. Let's see how long it lasts.